Hey everybody, it's Liz and I'm coming at you today with a project share. So, um, Crafting with Liller here on YouTube is having a 5,000 subby giveaway challenge. And of course I had to participate because it is a magical giveaway challenge. Uh, the theme is either unicorns or mermaids, it's your choice. And you are to create a handmade card and a memory dex card and of course send it in to her, you know, for an entry in her challenge. And I was super excited when I heard it because it was, I think it's just so fun to do, you know, the whole magical theme. Now I've done unicorns in the past, haven't done any mermaid, so of course I decided to do mermaids this time around. So let me get started and uh, tell you about my project. So, um, oh, and I'll put the link to her channel down below so you guys can go take a look and definitely support her. She is awesome. I love watching her videos, her energy. She's just so fun to watch. Uh, and of course, very crafty lady. So definitely go check her out, you guys. So this is the paper pad that I used for my projects. This is the Stay Magical collection by Craftsmith that you can find at uh, Michael's. I think they still have it. I'm pretty sure they do. I used a couple of sheets from that. Let me put that over here to the side. So the first thing I created is the memory decks card. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. It is so cute, you guys. I love it. I used a file for my silhouette cameo because I do not have the dies or the punches or anything to create the, the card itself. So I cut it out four times, two with cardstock and then twice with the pattern paper so that I could cover the front and the back. And it is super sturdy. It's nice and thick because there's four layers. I wanted it to be really you know, thick because I was gonna add a lot of embellishments to it. So I used the pattern paper from the paper pad here and I wanted to create a sea, um, you know, under the ocean type uh, of scene. So that's what I came up with. I started off by cutting strips of craft cardstock down here and kind of layering them over one another. I had torn the edges because I like the torn edge look, but it just wasn't showing through as well. You know, I kind of wanted to do sort of like depth and it just wasn't coming across the way that I wanted to. So I did uh, go ahead and add some sand to create that depth. Um, all I did is I added glue or adhered some glue on some of the edges down here at the bottom and then of course on the torn pieces. And then I sprinkled my sand on top. My sand is just regular white sand that I pick up at Dollar Tree, but I did color it using a brown uh, color mist that I've had in my stash forever. And I like to do that because it's, it's just so much easier than having to buy all these different color sands. I can make any, any color sand, you know what I mean? So it's really fun to just get the white. So once I adhered the sand on there, it just, it was perfect. It added just the right amount of depth that I wanted. And this sand is so pretty cause it's got like sparkles in it. So really nice. And then the background, um, you can see some of these die cut pieces. These are all from a die for my stash. It is called water plants, but it looks like this. This is how I came. And so I used this piece here. I used the coral. I used the little stars and I used this little piece. Wait till I show you how I use that. That is so cute. So I used a couple of those pieces. Um, again, from the pattern paper, I was able to die cut certain colors that I thought would go well. Like the coral is actually coral. Uh, you know, I have the green plant and I die cut every piece three or four times, layered them so I can give them more dimension. I didn't want them to be so flat and then look how pretty. And because I didn't glue the edges down, I was able to tuck the little die cut pieces in the different layers again to give them more depth. So it turned out really nice. I love the way it came out. Take a look. Really pretty. And uh, so here are the little starfish. I used uh, one there and then one here in the mermaid's hair. Here are those little seashells, but let me show you how else I used it. So this mermaid turned out amazing. I love this little girl. Um, it is a dye again for my stash. It looks like this. Very, very simple mermaid. This is my only mermaid dye that I have. Um, that's what made me realize that I really need to get more mermaid things. So I die cut her out so many different times using different color papers, of course, to paper piece, the fishtail, her hair. This is where I used that cute little seashell. It's this little shell. I cut it twice using iridescent paper from the paper pad and adhered it to um, the top here to make it look like a top. And so I added a pearl in the middle and it's just perfect. It looks like a little bow, but it's actually two of these little pieces side by side with a little uh, pearl in the center, right? How perfect is that? And I love how iridescent it is. And so the tail here, I cut that out using blue paper and then adhered these beautiful sequins, or not sequins, but chunky glitter on top. 
it reminded me of fish scales and it was just perfect and just look how beautiful that is so this was actually a little bit tedious because i did sprinkle it on and sort of flatten it out but it wasn't very uniform because it's so chunky so I did have to go in one by one and add these little pieces of chunky glitter. I used a, a toothpick and um, multi-medium and then kind of dabbed the multi-medium, dabbed the little you know see, uh, piece of glitter and then kept going until I got the, a more uniform fishtail. And I think it is so worth it, very tedious, but look how gorgeous it looks. I absolutely love it. The hair, I had to make a pink you know, haired mermaid. I think they're so cute. And uh, this part here was just cut from the dye, but I did have to sort of freehand a couple of other trusses of hair down here to give it a fuller look. Here, the little starfish, I die cut it three or four times, layered it, and then added stickles. Look how beautiful that looks, so shimmery, just so pretty. And um, so see the background, you see the plants, the coral, I showed you the shells. Um, I went ahead and cut this little cutout from the paper pack that I showed you, and it says stay magical. I love that it has these cute little holographic or iridescent, uh, they're actually, I think it's holographic, right? Um, little stars, so I love that. Um, I added a piece of foam to the back to give it more dimension, and I adhered it here. Uh, and then just topped it off with this cute little bow that I made using the pattern paper from the collection and I love this one too because it's holographic and I added a pearl to the center to finish off the bow really cute and then I did have a couple of little pearls here and there throughout the little memory decks card and then I, t I the finishing touch is my bubbles I love using these cute little bubbles they're actually uh, they're here right here. They're seed beads. They're just clear seed beads and I lay them flat and it mimics a little bubble and it's just the cutest little thing. I've used it before in other C theme cards, but I just love the way it looks. And again, that is a little tedious. Again, I do use a little toothpick and a little bit of multimedium and adhere them on there and it's just so adorable. I love it. It's such a cute little detail. It's like the perfect little bubble. So that is my Memory Dex card. I absolutely love the way that this came out and I hope Lily likes it as well. This is the back, it's just covered with pattern paper. I'm gonna go ahead and type my information and adhere it to the back, but I will do that a little bit later. Um, I am so in love with this, it is so cute. So that's my Memory Dex card and then I decided to make, well, I made the card too because that's the requirement. And this is the handmade card that I created, you guys. And this is when I realized that I really need more mermaid things because like I said, I only have that one die and I didn't want to use it again. So this time I thought it would be really cute to use these uh, chunky, or not chunky, puffy epoxy stickers that I had picked up from Michaels. I think we've all seen these, right? They're super cute. So I decided to use the stickers from this sheet to create another mermaid underwater scene and it turned out so cute. I wanted some similarities between the two projects but I did want to make them different as well. So that's why I went ahead and used the stickers and I didn't use the same die again. You know what I mean? Otherwise it'd be like doing the same project I, and I kind of wanted to do something different. So super cute. Of course it is a shaker. Love the way it turned out. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut out the uh, teal or turquoise cardstock. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's in between like mint green and that teal blue. So, and then I went ahead and cut out the panel from white cardstock, cut out the circle, did my whole little foam spiel thing to create the shaker. Really cute, I love the way it turned out. Filled it with sequins, the chunky glitter that I used for the fishtail, and of course my little seed beads. Hopefully you're able to see them in there, but just look at all the sparkle, I love it so much. And then here I use those little uh, water plants again, to, um, cutting them out from green cardstock, or actually it was pattern paper, I think, I can't remember what collection, but I just picked out some colors that would go well. Everything is cut out three or four times for dimension and adhered on there. And then here you can see an epoxy sticker. This is from that same collection I just shared with you. It's got like a little rock, some more plants, and a little clam or oyster. And then I had to add my sand just to give it a more realistic look. I really love it. I love the texture it adds. Here is that beautiful little mermaid. Again, I don't have any other dyes or stamps, I realized. Nothing mermaid themed. So 
The stickers were perfect and I love her pink hair and she's like looking into, it almost looks like a compact, but it's like a little seashell. It is so pretty. And um, then I added, uh, let me see, the little starfish here. The little seahorse is also an epoxy sticker. I finished it off with a couple of sequins in the background. And then of course, my cute little seed bead bubbles. So there's some over here and then there's some more over here. And I just stamped you are original on there because I think mermaids are pretty original. Like I said, I don't have any mermaid stamps. I was looking for maybe something that said like you're amazing or something, but I have nothing. I really need to get some mermaid stuff. So, but that's my card. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think it's super cute. Love the sand. I love how it, it just gives it like, I don't know, it brings it to life. You know what I mean? Otherwise it'd be like kind of plain. Super cute, I absolutely love it. The inside, I just added white cardstock and I'm gonna leave this blank and I'm just gonna send it to Lily that way. That way she can use it. Um, you know, if she ever wants to use it, give it to a friend or like, you know, she does swaps and things like that. So hopefully she likes it. I enjoyed making both of these projects. They were really so much fun. They actually kind of brightened my day because I've been having a really rough couple weeks with my injury. So I was so excited to get in my craft room and then make these magical things for Lily. So I hope she likes them. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely go check her channel out. There's still time for her um, to enter her giveaway. I think it, it ends on the 14th. Um, so you guys have time. I, you know, whip these babies out in a day and a half. I am a slow crafter, but I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys are faster than I am. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, go check out Lily. Her channel link will be down below and definitely go participate and show her some love. And I'll be seeing you guys real soon. Let me know what you think. Okay. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye.